Yo, what's good? Mike Biggs boxing over here. Just finished watching this Hovalev Anthony Yaw fight. Hype wasn't real. I was gunning for. I was. I was pulling for my man Yaw, but I don't know, man. It's just you know what I'm saying inexperience. You know the training regimen he went through just wasn't right for the man. You know what I'm saying, yo. Dude, you should have sparred. You should have sparred. You know what I'm saying? You counting on, you know, this Mayweather-esque style. No, man, that ain't you, man. That's not you. You know what I'm saying? It could have been the muscles or all the muscles you got on you. You know what I'm saying? That, that slowed you down, but it didn't look like that in, the, in your past fight. So I wasn't really worrying about that. But, yo, the crusher, he lays you out with a, a straight left. A straight, not even a, a hard. It didn't even look hard, man. I think it was fatigue. And, yo, man, it's it just inexperienced, man. You, you were very inexperienced. Very inexperienced, man. I'm disappointed. I was gonna, I was, I was hopeful for you because I don't like Hovalev, you know what I'm saying? But we all gotta, we all gotta, you know what I'm saying, take our hat off because Hovalev is a great fighter. You know, he's a good fighter. He's a fight which you you know what I'm saying, think about it, man. He's a good good fighter. He hit hard. He's accurate. And he's a lot much better with uh, Buddy McGurdon in his corner. You know what I'm saying? He even heard Buddy McGurdon, man. It was the, the ninth, tenth round. Buddy McGurdon's like, yeah, you take too many more shots like that, and I'm stopping the fight. And I'm stopping the fight. And I'm like, nah, man, nah, 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 don't do that. But yeah, man, yo, he's about to, you know what I'm saying? That fight was about to stop. If that happened in the tenth uh, round, the next round, hopefully able to He'd have lost that belt. But you know what I'm saying? You got to take your hat off to Kovalev. He did what he had to do. And um, it was a good fight. And, um, you know, uh, Anthony Yard, he came to fight, man. He came to thump. But I just think the inexperience fell in, set in. And and it just, you know, it just wasn't, you know what I'm saying, a right, a right look after, like, the, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, from the fourth round, fifth round on, it didn't look right for Anthony Yard because his mouth was wide open. He was breathing hard. And, you know what I'm saying? It, it was just, just wasn't a good look, man. I was just and like, this is pain. Except when he, you know, had that little barrage in, what, the ninth round or something like that, right? And a nice little barrage. Nice little joint, but you know what? Hovalad pulled it through in his hometown. And uh, he looked good doing it. And uh, we'll see what's next. You know what I'm saying? What comes up next for Hovalad. You know, better be, you know, uh, Bivol and, um, what's the other guy named? They up top right now. They ready. But we'll see what happens, man. Yo, to me, yo, don't, uh, does Lomachenko look like a, like a tiny Kovalev? <laughs> I motherfucker look alike, like, man. It, it look like little, little twin brothers. <laughs> Anyway, man, it was a hell of a fight, man. I'm out here on my goddamn vacation. Out here in Ocean City, Maryland, chilling. Living it up right here, you know what I'm saying? I, I joined the little gym for like two weeks, so I got to, you know, hit the gym right now. I didn't go today. I didn't go today yet, but because I wanted to see this fight. came on at 1230 out here. So I'm about to hit the gym, but, yo, good fight. Hell of a fight, man. I hope y'all y'all enjoyed it. Be prepared for August 31st, Lomachenko and Campbell next week. I think that's on a Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Right, what's today? Yeah, the 24th? Yeah, I think that's on a Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. Anyway, Anthony, y'all, keep your head up, man. You know what I'm saying? People still out here like you. Lose some of that muscle mass. You know what I'm saying? That might make you lose more weight, but I don't know. I don't know how that, that shit work out, but... All I'm saying is that muscle mass cut probably slowed you down. The training you went through probably slowed you down too because nobody knew, you know what I'm saying? You won't know what you're going to do. You know, I think, I think uh, 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 Andre Ward said it best, man. You ain't going to know what you're going to do, what you might do if you don't, if you don't spar. You know what I'm saying? It just didn't make any sense to me. And um, it was just, it was just. It's just crazy, man. You saw the fatigue set in dumb early. Dumb early. You know what I'm saying? But I think if, if y'all kept up with that barrage, if he had that barrage early in the ninth, man, I think he would have got rid of um Kovalev quick. 
quick. And Tim Bradley, you brown nose, fake ass, ball headed, cue ball, brown nose, kiss it ass. Oh, my God. I just can't stand the way he talk, man. I bet you any amount of money he's going to bring up. Um, <laughs> I bet you before this whole broadcast is over, he will bring up. Um, 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 the hell is his name? TC, Terrence Crawford, and uh, Errol Spencer Jr. I bet you, man. I, I, I don't even want to watch him no more because I know he's going to do that. But anyway, man, yo, that's me. That's my time. I'm about to go head to the gym. Yo, this is Mike Biggs Boxing. Shout out to the whole LDBC, the almighty LDBC. It's only one LDBC. You know what I'm saying? You don't like us? Fuck you. Pardon my French. I don't give a damn. Be prepared. I'm coming soon. But my live stream, I got to, you know, figure out when I'm going to do it. You know, because I don't get up as early as Junior the Truth. And you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I put out time to, to watch my homie, 78 Sport, and um, Black Fight Fan, and uh, Fanon the Don. But uh, I got to figure out when I'm going to get on. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, cross no lines or cross anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because I got the utmost respect for the homies in the LDBC, man. But you know what? Like and subscribe. And um, check out this video. Comment if you like. It's all good. Much love, and I'm out.